Hello there, it's Rats Mawa here, and I got another of Runeterra video for you guys today. We're doing something a little bit different today, though, as we're going to be playing Path of Champions, and we're going into it blind playthrough mode. English. As we are going to be just, uh, I don't know what champion I'll choose. I don't even know exactly how the structure is, so like I said, I'm going to jump into it blind. Before I do that, though, I want to clarify a couple of things. Uh, first of all, I'm back from my trip, and I was actually looking to stream this, but decided against it in the end because I've been feeling a little bit under the weather uh, with my ear, and uh, I've been a little bit beat up from, from the weekend that I had in Warsaw with Panda and others as I visited some friends there for the weekend with Gabby and we had a great time but uh, yeah like I said I've been feeling a little bit rough <laughs> even today and uh, the ear problems have also been a little bit annoying so I decided to just record this instead but I am looking forward to streaming again actually it's been forever but for anybody who's interested I may be looking at a comeback on Twitch in the near future and uh, hopefully some of you guys are potentially looking forward to that and also I'm working on an arcane review video something very different from what I'm used to doing but because I'm doing a lot of world building and essentially creating a story myself I figured I I have a lot to say about the show and I, I would like to share my perspective my opinion and uh, you know do a, a well-made video like try to edit it properly and uh, script it and everything like I'm, I'm, I'm actually like writing a script <laughs> for it and uh, yeah, I'm excited about that too. So I wanted to share that with you guys, even though I already mentioned it on Twitter. Uh, I know a lot of you guys don't really f use Twitter or maybe follow me there or whatever. So you know here uh, as well. And that's essentially the beginning of my TED talk. I've been rambling a little bit here. Really excited to play Path of Champions. I had the fortune to have a bit of a conversation with the developers, uh, me and other content creators as well. And they gave us a little bit of intel regarding what we could expect. And I know, for example, that uh, the stories that we are gonna be engaging in in this journey you know, can have different paths. Depending on your choices, you, you take one direction or another, which can lead to a different ending potentially. And that is really exciting. I've been a huge fan of the Lab of Legends game mode. I wasn't that crazy about Saltwater Scourge. I think there were some issues, but speaking with the developers, they definitely were aware of those themselves. And it seems like they've made uh, quite the <laughs> crazy improvement on this. So this seems to be that it's going to be the official like PVE mode. And I'm very excited to jump into it. So without further ado, we're just going to go into it blind. I'm going to stop rambling and uh, we're going to just improvise as we go. So everything's going. We are recording. Okay, good. Fantastic. Let's do this. It's a big old world. I, I, I guess I'll add in a little bit of voiceover. Why not? I am... I am a YouTuber, right? I'm supposed to do that. It's a big old world out there, but who cares about that? Let's get to the cool stuff. Maybe I should have a Jigs voice soon on. I don't even know where to begin though. So I, I guess I have to click here and build the runs on. All right, is that Vi? Ooh, time to play old Fat Hands a visit. Well, I'm just getting some PTSD from <laughs> recent arcade episodes. All right, let's go. Jinx's adventure. So I guess the first adventure is Jinx. I, I can't really select others. I, I thought I was going to potentially have the uh, option to select mul between multiple champions because that's how it's been in the past, right? But I guess you have to always start with the same one and then move on from there. I don't know if my webcam is placed properly here. Maybe I can actually do something about this. I think I can move myself to here for now. Because otherwise, I'm, I feel like I'm in the way. So... Um, I'll be, like I said, I'm completely improvising this recording, so we'll just, we'll just go uh, with it. All right. I'm ready to put the miss in misadventure. It's playtime. Okay, that was kind of cringe. Let's go. News on the street is you're out of ideas, kid. You're dried up, emptied out. No, -uh. Like, did you hear about that factory that went ballistic and made those crazy mechs? Everyone knows about that sport. <laughs> well, what if we were to pay it a little visit and... Uh, add a little hay to the haywire, eh? <laughs> hey, you know, that might just fly, kid. <laughs> you guys are the best. <laughs> She's so crazy. <laughs> She's actually bad shit. I, I feel like I have a completely different vision of Jinx ever since I watched Arcane, so it's just... It's just like, I don't want to spoil anything, right? But, man, it's, it, you just see it through different eyes, right? 
God damn it. I mean, at this point, who hasn't watched it? Let's, let's be real. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I guess we just click, um... Okay, I can just leave, so I guess I have to advance over here. Klaxon Lobot. All right, let's travel here. Let me, let me get acquainted with, like, all the different, um... Something blocks your path for a reward, so I guess you have to go through here first. You can zoom in and out. Or you can move around. Oh, that's... Oh, that's dope. Oh, wow. That's really... Dude, it looks beautiful. And I, I think my webcam is actually well positioned here, yeah. This looks so clean. So... This is so much better than the Salt Wars Scourge. Holy shit. And what, what about this? Uh, just regular axe. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Seems like the enforcers got to the warehouse before you. Be a real shame if they got exploded. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. I don't even know what's, what my deck is, but I guess we'll, we'll find out. All right. Ah, oh, it's KDA. Okay, so no enemy power. We have no power ourselves. All right. We got the Rocket Border, which is a little bit ahead of the curve. Okay, so we're gonna replace the Boo Boo Rookie because I think we have a better, a better two drop and we'll keep everything else. Man, pretty good card. In case you're wondering, like they're actually releasing cards that are exclusive to the PVE mode, which I think is really neat because it's just very different. Because in this mode, you can just get really crazy and because you're not facing actual humans, yeah, I think this is gonna be better. Well, this is, I mean, it's more damage. And they have no mana. What do I have, the Nightfall card back? This also reminds me of somebody else in, in Arcane. God, just, I feel so, I feel so sad just watching all these cards. All right, let's go with the rocket border. We got that three, three satellite for a quick attack. Balanced, absolutely balanced. Good player, the opponent. All right. We have a quick attack. Let's go with Mr. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, I may as well trade. It allows me to push for more damage. They're, they're, if, if they had more health, then maybe I would reconsider, but yeah. Ah, I feel like I'm doing good. I feel like I'm just that amazing at the game. Honestly, like I have this innate ability to play cards on curve for their cost, and it is just incredible. I know. Deal three to a unit for two mana. Add burst speed. We got gun mini morph edition. Let's go jinx up. Because we just set up Lethal's way. There we go. I guess he did get exploded. <laughs> My favorite. All right, got him good. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, by the way, but I hope you guys don't mind like a really long ass video. Why not? Why not? Just I'm paranoid though because I'm like, if if this this cannot be the one time that I forget how to click record, you know? It's it's happened more, but I mean I, I can't I can't allow it here. Okay, so we also receive sixty gold, and we add two copies of a card to our deck. So we have the ability to I have a one mana mischief and mayhem, which is a card exclusive. Like card ex cards that are exclusive to PVE, so cards that don't have a gem right here, they're gonna be naturally more more higher in power, right? Like deal one to an enemy and two to the enemy nexus. This for one mana seems just absolutely insane. But then again, Zonite Urken for one mana uh, one mana three two. What is, what is technically better? This just pings one and, and, and deals to the Nexus. Um, can I take a look at my deck? Yeah, okay, here it is. So we got Poro, how many spells? We got the... We got the Pow Pow. 
Yeah, we're kind of like lacking in spells, I think. We already have a lot of one drops, I feel. And we have a lot of burn potential as well. So I'm actually going to go with the, uh, the Mischief and Mayhem. I get that money as well. Very nice. Let's travel here. I got a new power! What is my new power? Ooh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gravitating towards the epic just because it's epic, but we'll see. Let's, let's, let's read the common one first. Uh, Brown Star grant the, ally, the weakest ally plus one plus one, battlefield training, okay? When you summon an ally, deal one to the enemy nexus. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with explosive entrance. It's also more thematically fitting, so I gravitate towards that. Oh, I, I can zoom in with my scroll thing, of course. Oh, that's just, that's just awesome. All right, let's go here. I'm in Zon, man. I'm in fucking Zon. I'm immersed. And I'm recording. <laughs> That's not my say. I promise. Okay, so... Just some more robots to kill. Tin Skull Burner. And I'm just... Kebop, Spijupidon, and Bazak X. That's what I'll, I'll name my firstborn child. Uh, we're gonna go with... I mean, I always keep Pow Pow in hand because this card is kind of ridiculous, so yeah. And I'm gonna keep the Daring Poro just because it's a one drop and we have one mana more than the opponent. Ah, there you are. There's a little guy seeing everything on fire. Nice to meet you. Good conversation. Ah, I forgot about my ability. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. I couldn't select my difficulty, could I? By the way. This is actually a scenario which I, I, I don't mind playing the rookie. Because I'm just trying to get this guy, this guy down. And, and because our health is like permanent, we want to avoid all damage. In, in before a time wander here. I'm gonna go with Rookie. Like, I know... Yeah, I'm going for the maximum damage, baby! Let's go! Light it up! I wish this was a card, but then, you know, probably not a good idea. Just you and me, Fishbone. Ugh, and them. You're starting to bore me. Lock. There's no withering whale. Note that card does not exist. Burst speed removal. Oh. I wonder why they chose the KDA board. I mean, it's really catchy. We blew them all. All of them. All right, so far so good. More mischief and mayhem. Another. More daring poros that have more health. No, no, no. Cancel, cancel. Uh, I clicked on that. Um, I don't think I... Do I need that many one drops? I mean, why not? Like, honestly, like, these thick daring poros can also be really good blockers early on, so... The loose cannon. Special... Okay. When Jix is summoned, create the loose cannon in hand. And what is the loose cannon? Well, I guess we'll have to... I guess we'll have to find out. Okay, so now, now the enemies start having abilities. When the foe attacks, grant their stronger attacker plus one. Alright. We can handle that. Alright, our first boss. got the explosive entrance and they got the ten school power and uh, I'm gonna do a full mulligan just because I want that one drop 
My deck is like very small anyway, so. You're a weird looking enforcer. We're taking it down, smokes. Man, it was my idea. What? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit confused. Though. I could have played the Darien Poro, but I wanted to represent more damage. I also didn't realize that they had one mana as well. <laughs> I kind of assumed, you know, the game was going to hold my hand forever. Alright, well. That's where the 1-3 stat line comes into play, baby. Obviously, we block into the wall. The 2 1 with the 1 1. Or the 1 3. And now. Now, 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 I like you. We play this first. We see if they have a unit. And because we don't mind that as a blocker. We don't need to resort to pow pow. We can be pow pow for later. And uh, they ran out of gas. Not impressed. Oh, shit. Alright. Do you want the enemy access? Reduce the cost of your cards every- Oh! Whoa! 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 This card is nuts! Alright! Looks like your chicken's cooked, kid! Your ticket's punched! Your buns are blammoed! What are you <laughs> What the about? fuck are you talking about? Like, what the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> I want to level up Jinx. Tell me I can't. I dare you. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> Just wanted that level up. All right. Still, we blew them all up. Still, like, just making sure my, my webcam is not in the way, right? That's a good spot. And another win for Mr. Button. Oh, you guys can see. This doesn't really do much. And bro, 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 that is a 2 6. All right. It's all about the Poros, man. Re really like these animated comics, by the way. Okay, so we start in Zon and we're slowly climbing our way up to Piltover, it seems. And the final boss is actually Vi. All right, that is indeed dramatic. Oh, now we start. Oh, my. I'm sorry. I'm going meta. Meta. Going. Game start. The foe summons a stinky wump. The foe's stinky wumps have ephemeral. Okay. Is it? It's just game start, not the. Uh, not every round. It's not that scary, I think. I could be LeBlanc. 
I always thought that. Ooh, Bando City. Ugh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna drop the arrow knot, and I'm gonna keep your boy rookie. We even got vision. You got your own explosive mushroom. Wait, what? Oh, one minute, two seconds. Elusive's pretty good. Pretty decent card. I have a pretty decent blocker here. My beefy boro. So this is like one of the very interesting things about going all in with PB. I think I... What can I expect for three mana? Let's actually play it smart. We're not in like the, the biggest of hurry. Let's try to preserve our board. And keep the spell mana for Pow Pow here. I should not have played this Boom Crew Rookie now that I think about it. Alright, these mushrooms are going to start dealing damage. Yeah, I, I shouldn't have played this second Boom Crew Rookie because I would have been able to lose cannon and just throw in everything. Like, I actually would have been able to throw my entire hand. So, I actually misplayed. Good, good on me. I think we got him. <laughs> All right. Well, so far it, it seems pretty easy, but obviously, <laughs> but obviously we have to take into account that you know the difficulty will will be ris will rise up. And I, I assume I think I was told that Jinx was actually the easiest. When cast here, your next is equal to my cost. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. Like this is decent, but I mean, I'm gonna go arena battle caster. Just need a house spider, and we good. Healer, please take any damage. Right? Yeah, I actually I'm not taking any damage. I'm just that good. Oh, yeah, just leave. Ooh, Caitlyn? Caitlyn's the boss? Round start, the foe plants one flash bomb trap random. Ooh, that's okay. That's interesting. All right. A challenge? We'll see. Ah, and see how the board changes from Zon to Piltover? The little details. Yeah, out of the wood, out of the two one drops, I'm gonna keep the you know the two six one. I'll keep pow pow. Yeah, Darien Pork can actually sponge a lot of traps potentially. If it's not Piltover's poshest police person, uh, look, I got a little present for Vi, so tell me where she is, or I'll do something. I see you put the usual amount of time and effort into planning this all out. Shots fired. Don't worry, I've read all about this. Oh yeah, did you read about Poros? That fly out of cannons! Oh, we got the thickness. Oh, we got, yeah, but we got the elusive as well. Oh, this is fantastic. 
Let's rock on! Yeah, see, we got the thickness. It's all right. No matter what, we lead off with the 4 0 first. We have several options. Okay, now that we see Kaylin is in there, uh, we don't want to play the Boom Crew Rookie. We actually want to play the Rocket Border. We can just we can kill Kaylin afterwards. You could trade Kaylin, yeah. <laughs> Did the AI just emote at me? I I can't even. The beans, hack lady. This bunny's gotta know where to hop. Where's I? Someone's got a vendetta. I I'd ever betray my own partner. Your own what? Now I don't want to be that guy. All right. I I love the I love you know the world building that's happened in Arcane. I love Piltover. Piltover and Zon have has always been my favorite region, like the one that's most interesting to me from a lore perspective, which made me extra excited about Arcane, right? But there's something that's uh, been bothering me. A little bit, just a little bit. Why why are there people with Russian and super posh English accents <laughs> in this city? Like, wh where did they come from? <laughs> like, you know, like, kind of, like Victor and shit. And, and like Caitlyn, why do they speak differently? Can somebody explain that to me? I, hey, hey, I understand that there's no actual reason. That's fine. But if there is actually one reason, then let me know. <laughs> Dude, the BM! All right, Draven. Draven it's Draven time. Go narcissism. Draven. Ben. Ben. Bury me at sea. Let's do this. <laughs> that's, that's a nice thing they did with Eva. I just wish I had emotes. Damn, I'm good. Of course you are. All right, let's see. I mean, ooh. No, I, I always confuse these. I already have seven of these, though. I have a lot of. I have a lot of one drops. I feel like I benefit more from. From like a 4-4 battle caster? I think. I mean, that's a pretty crazy Poro though. Like honestly, I probably should take the Poro, but. Jinx's choice? Last chance baboon to tell me where advise that lady. I got a rocket, and I ain't afraid to pop it. Oh, this is your little girl! Wouldn't dare. There are innocents here. Children. Uh guess you better tell me then. She's at the Golden Way Academy. Procedure training. Ha <laughs> ha! Golden Way, here we come! Oh, but first, you. Hey, fishbones, you got that? Oh, this is what I was talking about. The decisions that have an impact on the story. Capture Caitlyn or ransom Caitlyn? <laughs> I love these drawings. Hold it. Round starts. Stun the strongest enemy. It's gonna be hard to beat this one. Get a mana gem. I'm gonna capture Caitlyn. Like, the idea of stunning, like, not only defensively, but offensively speaking, this is just... It, it, especially, like, in an aggro deck, it's like I have, like, a free Arachnoid Sentry every round. It's just, you know... Hitting the cops in the head with a hammer seems very efficient. So I'm, I'm indeed going to capture Caitlyn. Caitlyn has been kidnapped forever. Um, the foe creates a Professor Von Deep in hand. It costs two less. Round start. The foe. Okay, so there must be a perk for going through here. I'm gonna take Professor Von Deep just because it's epic and it seems like it's it's more of a threat. Three triple. That's cheating. Oh, 
Yeah, I think we can keep it like this. We got the sick battle. Get okay. Oh, because Professor Von Jim is actually the cat. It's not the guy, by the way. Sometimes I forget that. I I, I can't. I, you know, Saboteur thinks would be pretty good, but. Two six four. I could have gone with the plus. Like I, I, I would have had a four seven Poro for one mana. That's just kind of that's a little bit too easy mode. I feel though. Oh, I see. So I'm gonna go double one drop this round. Actually, should I play this? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go double one drop because next round I want to just like I don't want to give my opponent enough time to. Like I'm only gonna give him one turn to do something. What do you do, Rackin? Oh shit! Oh, Spooky Paro, very very terrifying. But I can trade into any of these, so. Oh, really? Trades. Okay, that that's a lot. That's a lot of pressure. All right, you know, I, I'm starting to feel. I'm starting to feel the pressure for sure. But now we have the ability to just kill. We probably should kill Von Jip. <laughs> Effective immediately. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. It's me! It's a great day for Reckoning! Can't tell the difference. All right. Ah, look who it is. Look who it is. Ugh, and them. Poro. We can't vision quite yet, but... Uh, my deck's pretty good. Zero man, pow pow. This grants, so no reason not to do it now. Level up Jinx, draw a little bit more. Oh, shit! That does almost pretty much nothing! Good for you! Now it's a party. I'm gonna play my rocket. Wanna play my rocket? Or just kill him with the. Uh, yeah. Let's just kill him with the ability. We get to see the rocket. Give me the laugh. <laughs> so funny. Alright. Let's see what that... Ooh. Oh, the boss we beat earlier for two mana, 4-2. Two. For two mana, a 5-4 that deals damage to all enemy followers. Yeah, but this is three mana. I'm gonna go with a Grenadier. You know, feels pretty decent. It's not, it's not the greatest thing, but a two mana 5-4 like that, it's... It, Pretty all right. Ooh. Okay. When cast, there's a 50% chance to create a copy of me in hand that caused zero this round. I mean, all these are insane. When cast, grant the top ally in your deck power and health equal to my cost. Yeah, no, that's actually not that good considering I have Jinx's ability. Yeah, I'm gonna take the, uh, the get excited. Oh, I, I I have a currency. I didn't even know I, I had that. Colossal hammer. I mean, I kind of um, want to buy this, and I want to buy another Jinx, and I guess that that'll be. Yeah, I want to buy you too. Do I know? I'm gonna leave. 
I think. Oh my god. I, I, whenever I want to see my deck, I don't know why I click there. <laughs> well, you guys can't see it entirely, actually. My webcam is kind of in the way now. But I mean, I've, I've been here like all the time, so... It would be kind of weird to like switch it back now, right? <laughs> Bit it bit. Yeah, I think my deck's pretty good. I'm confident. All right. All right. Let's meet our sister. Let's reunite. Round start. The foe grants its allies plus one plus one. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's actually kind of scary. Oh my god, I need to stop clicking there. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm spaghetti. Seems like a very, very, very crazy ability. Like, kind of insane. All of them? Hmm. Ba -da -da -ba -da. I mean, we want a one drop, so... I'm gonna do a full million, because I want one drops. I will not accept... Yeah, alright. We got one drops. Best friend forever. <laughs> did it, did it, did it, did it. Yeah, but this is gonna get buffed now, right? Oh, we do have the stun effect. I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm going double, double daring Koro. Seems legit. When time calls, a reply is proper. <laughs> Horos, go! <laughs> I love how this is just... Oh, there's a BM. You know, what, what, what they throw... I, I like... That's pretty accurate. When they throw that BM... Oh, we got division. Okay, l let's think here for a moment. If I play Boom Kuruki, and next turn I play another Boom Kuruki, I carry over one mana, and I'm able to play this. Yeah, so this is actually the best play. Because now four plus five? Yeah. I think the hit here at this point, to be honest. Right? Like, I should heal after this. Ooh, that's better. It's a great day for reckoning! Oh, you discarded- Vi discarded herself? That's... It's kind of strange. Do this first. <laughs> Get him up! I've committed murder. Let's take this puppy for a spin. Uh oh. They're coming. <laughs> Stop, Jinx! We've got Stop, Jinx! There's what? something wrong with your head! Am I right? Oh, just in time! Alright. The plays! The plays! Ugh, and them. Boom. I mean, I would assume that my health, like, I heal here. <laughs> stop, Jinx! Stop, Jinx! Yeah, stop! Shut up, Jinx! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I've, I've had enough. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want to lose more subscribers because I have to laugh every time. Alright. So, mm, okay. Where's my popcorn? Funny or boom? 
I can put up with you. But leave Caitlin out of this. Look! Boom it is! Okay, she's pissed. We did it! Okay, so we got the reputation. The reputation uh, is something that sticks with your champion, I believe. Okay, so we got 22 health, uh, but I, I assume that this... So that that's like, that's the journey for Jinx, right? Badges, er, it's okay. We didn't actually get to have Draven and Jinx on the board at the same time, you know? We had a very sick deck. <laughs> <laughs> kind of busted, but that was that was pretty that was pretty easy. Like I'm 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 excited to try it out with like a higher difficulty. Well, what a rush, you know? I think a little trick or four from that little venture. That's that's my Jake's voice. Rank up, level up. You know that useless of nerds for now. See my face? Just pick it. Pick me. Okay. No, wait. Uh. All right. Wait, can I, can I? All right, I, I guess I have to click her. I'm a star, baby! Time to treat myself with something new and splurdy! Unlock a new Jinx deck. Jinx begins every adventure with studded leather. Studded leather, that must be like plus one, plus one or something? Yes, new toys, new things! Stay with me, kid, and we'll go places! All right, I, I will end. <laughs> it's like it's getting worse and worse. But we have access to, um, wait. If I click here. Oh, now, now I've unlocked the Ionia adventure for, no. Oh, I get it. Like I can. Okay, so what if I go back? Have I already unlocked? It's okay. Just let, just let me check something. So if I go Path of Champions, if I click again, like, am I still only limited to Jinx or can I? Ah, I can choose now. Can I choose anybody? I can choose anybody. Oh my God, there's so many different options. Wow, there's, there's a lot of champions to choose from. And you continue to, to like, oh man, this is sick. Okay, a, a lot of work went into this. Oh, I, that's that's the new Jace. I, I, I got spoiled, I got spoiled by Riot about Jace, by the way. Like, that's why I didn't do like a reaction because they, you know, uh, they told me about Jace. And, uh, you yeah, know, I'm not gonna be, I'm not, I'm not gonna go and make a YouTube video, like, I know in the car to be like, oh my god, oh wow, you know, I, I, I think there's some YouTubers that are capable of that, but I'm, I'm, I'm personally not, so, I, I already knew what Jace did. Um, yeah, this is insane, this is awesome, like, I, I don't, man, I wanna try Pike, I wanna try Yasuo, yeah, this is beautiful. My first impressions are really, really good. And the fact that they're going to continue to expand and we're going to potentially get access to every single region and they're going to, like, the maps look beautiful. Like, if we look, if we go over to Ionia here. Yeah, but I don't want to start another one because otherwise the video is going to be crazy long. So I guess we can treat this as, as a bit of, like, an introduction to the mode. And uh, hopefully you guys are hyped to try it out yourselves. Uh, I'm definitely going to be playing it more. And I may very well actually stream it. Because uh, like I said, I'm, I'm looking into getting back into streaming and, and such. Uh, maybe even streaming on YouTube. Like, I, I don't know. I, I have a lot of thinking to do in that regard. Uh, you know, manage my time and everything. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Because that would make me happy. And Jinx as well. And she's she's got some issues. She seems like she's happy, but... You know, the insides of her minds, it gets a bit dark. So, leave a like for her. And I am going to stop rambling. Thank you for watching. Have a soul day. Hopefully you guys are excited. Let me know if you're excited about the Arcane review that I'll be uh, uploading soon. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.